So the back here already once looks so wonderful. Look on the map. It's a metal tree. Everything drop. I don't know what's making these holes. Um, one day I some cover this way, the one day right here. So one is right there. I'm gonna put the piece of board there. Um, so I don't know. Look at my onions, my green onions. Every day we come out here, we use it and cook. But anyway, look on the state of the backyard. Look on that. Oh, there sh um, shelter the girls from the sun. You're jumping. And there's one with the breeze in mash up already, and this is a second one. So, me and my mega try, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Is if we get rid of some of them, suck me and throw them in the bin. Um, chop them up and break them down a little because this ain't it, fam. That was my passion plant. Hopefully, it come back. Um, and over here, so going to be my greens here, so I forgot the weed and put on fresh dirt and some soil conditioner and it's gonna be kale, spinach and collard greens but look at the thing right here says a big ants mount child the ghetto some more green onions here that's doing so well whoa 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 mommy <laughs> <laughs> well, she have the one that's broken. You can this are the other one. Um, one, two, something over there, sir. Look if not in there. No, me, what are you doing? You digging? Yeah. What you digging? I'm digging You're digging what? The plant? Yeah. But mommy want the plant. Oh, okay. Huh? It is mine. Oh, it's mine. Okay. So we just have some hot pepper. And, and the rest of them spoil. rotten. Wool leaf spoil. But it's alright. It's okay. Sigh. Homesteading is a lot of work. So this is another area that has a bunch of green onions, a whole bunch. Um, I think this is peach tree, um, that is plum, and that's lemon or lime, something of the sort. I forgot to start to weed up soon. Um, yeah, it look kind of bad. So while I'm out here, I'm going to the harvest these. Hopefully, when you can see it, holy oh, bell pepper. Up on the little tree here. Yeah. Oh, holy. And because I forget to um, put a cover over it, you know, once it started to get cold. But yeah, it feels so amazing growing your own food. I encourage anybody to do it. If it's even just one something, your favorite item. Quite last quite a bit of them, but I still have enough. And this is my citrus area nectarine, must tangerine, orange. Right there, so this was one berry, I don't remember which one. I'm gonna get rid of that and just plant something different. Yeah, so mommy come all the way from Austin for help me um, break this down so we can get it in the garbage. She has been such a huge help. If you're never there um, this weekend. I wouldn't get so much done. I wouldn't get anything at all done. Because I take on the task by myself, kind of tedious. So, can I break down some of them to cut the screws so it can fit in the bin or else they won't take it? Thank you, Mommy. And of course, we're super, we look a supervisor right there, so. <laughs> I'm so grateful for the help. Me too, it does hard for you by yourself, so I'm glad you come. Thank you. Well, I've been happy to be here. Surrounded by these girls. They're amazing, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> Nyla, my fair yes, business. Awesome girls. Yeah. <laughs> Name me a supervisor. <laughs> Can't wait for the backyard look like backyard again. Probably I forgot to start paying somebody for cut the lawn every every two weeks or something, just so it can be maintained and look proper. So with the great Angela help, this is what the backyard look like now. I know it don't look like much to some people. 
but this is great progress this is great progress so I think tomorrow I'm just going to try break this down with the hammer put it in the pile and I'm going to start putting the things in the bin one week at a time as much as I can all of this wood and break that down to so right as I can just look nice and clean what your man big up yourself Angela only you alone you know <laughs> boy I'm so happy for the help you understand months <laughs> Come on, oh, yeah, months from my peoples <laughs> for months the backyard look like can get out here fast enough to do it because me does not have the help I mean I have the energy but this is it again it don't look like much to some people but this is a lot sure? yes I sure did okay. so I can't wait to get rid of them but I'm gonna cut up them here in probably like three pieces each and put them in the bin man you know I'm gonna try I'm gonna put this out today and see if they will take it Put okay. it beside the bin. Okay. Okay. Just let me know. And I have a bag of girl bag. I'm not sure she put it, but that's alright. So I can reclaim back my back here, make it look nice and proper. And the girls can come out here and run up and down, especially now that Nyla start walk. The canopy over this is a great idea because it blocked the sun, but I will not do that again. The wind in this area is just too, just too much. And that's the second gazebo that it tear up, and I can't bother. Got it. So now the place is nice and big, and I can go to work. And then next year, sometime, hopefully the first half of next year, we're gonna extend the fence to go all the way down there. So we sit like right where the the mechanical stuff is, right before you get to that. So we're gonna get all this extra space so the girls can run some more. I'm gonna keep this gate on and just put that extra gate down there. So this is where the beans are kept. And I'm so glad that I stayed in the fence when I moved in. It looks so nice. And I'm glad that I had found this product. Hopefully you can see it. And just stay pleating. I think it's originally made for chaining fences, but it worked. Excited. Naomi, what's going on? I like auntie. Grandma water. You like grandma water? Yes. What does that mean? I like water. Well, you like my water, but this is my water. And I'm thirsty. Oh. Oh, Daddy bringing my water. Daddy bringing your water? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, Daddy. Okay. Be careful, Mama. Watch your stones, okay? This is yeah, 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 yeah. I, I swim back. Are you soon be back? Yeah. Okay, my love. I'll be right here waiting. I'll be right here waiting. I mean, so old, man. I feel like I give birth to like a 63 year old midget. <laughs> Swear to God. Sasha, we all, all, we all children would be special. We all knew that. Really? Based on what? They wouldn't be normal children. They, wouldn't, they would be different. Based on what? Based I was your most normal child. No, you weren't. No. Who was your most normal child? Gina. What? Yeah. What did I do? First of all, you didn't rank and face me. Oh, my different rank and face me and you used to buff me. Yeah, but your rank and face me and your, your attitude and you could have beat out the judgment here. Yeah, come on, if you lick your hat to lick her, she nah ball. She nah ball. Oh, wow. You never see a fitness for one so and then it used to irritate me. Come here, so when you beat it me and it had them supposed to ball. But she no ball. At all, and it used to annoy me and make me feel irritated. And, and that's why you used to beat me like you fight. I'm not fight eh? Mummy, you remember in front of Jai when you slammed me down from the stone and my knee long in my throat and in my chest? And Jai says, Angela, you go kill her. Get up off her, you go kill her. Oh, yeah, we did do. But probably did just breathe too loud. I don't know what I do. Breathe or blink too much time. You know, Slam me down in the stone and I adjoy. Angela, you're a killer. And when I get up like me, I talk, but you couldn't hear the sound. You'd have to read Mommy. my arm lips to see what I say. Mommy, not that way. Mommy, not that way. Terrible. Mommy, not that way. I tell you, you don't know you're a girl different. You know you me? You'd have get some boop, you see? Eh? You'd have get some boop. She's stubborn and she's dry eye and be a face. That way. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, so <laughs> you have nice, normal children. Hey! Nice so we're pretty much prepping this area mm -hmm. to plant a magnolia tree but that we're putting good. down things to block the wood from coming back up and the stone that you see on the right that's what we're going to put on top of these cardboard so it could look a little bit more decorative and the stone in the front is just a temporary replacement for now until I figure out what I'm going to use and until I can um, afford whatever it is that I'm going to use. We're in our element and we had the energy we decided that we we're going to go ahead and spruce up the side again um, and again I'm so grateful that mommy was here to help me or else I would not have gotten this done for a very long time and she's pretty much good at anything that's outdoors um, so I welcome the help man I was so tired when we we're done though So I was afraid of rolling out this carpet because in my mind there were frogs and snakes and all kind of creatures living under this which is why we were taking our little little time and you see me moving away and calling Naomi to move away just in case there was something under there child it wasn't gonna get me and my baby I wish I could let you hear some of the conversations Naomi and her grandmother was having, but the wind just wasn't having it. As I'm editing this video, I'm looking at three generations of women who are now into the same thing. Mommy has always been a gardener and I've always just allowed her to do her thing and everybody who knows her know that that's her thing. Then somehow it became my thing and now Naomi is out there with us and I promise you Nyla is the very same. This warms my heart so much because before I even knew that I could have kids, I prayed for outdoor kids. I didn't want kids who were stuck inside, who didn't want to go outside, who preferred to be inside. My kids are actually the opposite and I'm so grateful. My people on WhatsApp must be so tired of me posting this side yard. It has gone through so many transitions. But I promise you, I feel like I'm finally getting back my mojo. I'm finally gaining my independence where I don't necessarily have to depend on anyone to assist me. I know that the girls are older and they're walking about and I don't necessarily have to be over them so much. I can finally get back into the groove of things. And I will never ever let this side yard look like this again. I'm so thankful that hopefully sometime this year we'll be able to extend the fence and completely enclose this area almost like a sunroom and let me tell you something man never again
Now, when I just moved into this house, I think September of 2020, I had gotten this gray set right here that I'm putting down now on Facebook Marketplace for like $140 or $150. So it's been with me ever since. But of course, once we go through the complete transition, all this furniture will be sold on first Facebook Marketplace and we'll get fresh furniture and spruce it up completely. But for now, it works. Not much happened in the backyard. Obviously. I'm not hiding my love, no. <laughs> but we did clean up the side. <laughs> and yes, I'm very much aware of the condition of the carpet. It needs to be cleaned, but nobody's sitting back here for the next two months or so. So this is what it looks like temporarily. And of course, we're not planting anything until the cold is gone. But this is it for now. Looks semi-decent. I'm super proud of us, even though we came out here to do the backyard, backyard. Um, but this is this. Um, don't think this will be staying here for obvious reasons, but I'm not sure yet, as I said. So when the winter season is done, and we're going to do something completely different out here as well, but this is it. I'm happy. Turn around. See the hot mess in the background. Right as we were about to head through the door, Naomi turned over the container that had all her clips and ties for her hair. And I was just not going to do it. But luckily when we got home, Kemara tied it up the place. Um, so that was a win. Everybody ready? <laughs> hey. Hi Naomi. Hi. Hi Nyla. We're off to church. I wish you could see their dresses. They're so cute. <laughs> the girls are out. You're a princess? You do look like a princess. Nana is a princess? Queen. Auntie is a queen. <laughs> Auntie Cheryl is a queen. Thank you, baby. You're, you're a princess. Mommy is a queen. Yes. <laughs> Daddy a king. Yes. Did you say Naomi? Naomi is beautiful. Naomi is beautiful. But what did you say about your earrings? Your earrings are pretty? Yeah. They are. And it makes you look even more beautiful. It's turning. It's turning, Mommy. It is. It's, what did you say? It's turning? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, this is where I'll end yeah, this but be vlog. Careful. And as I, I always say, you are good. Okay? And remember, take care of yourselves and each other. Yeah, it's turned green, alright.